Welcome to Venindan Academy. Today we're going to talk about safety while dealing with solar power systems. Here's a quick look at the topics we'll cover. 1. The Silent Killer Understanding the dangers of electricity. 2. High voltage, high stakes, panel voltage and its risks. 3. PV disconnects your first line of defense. 4. Mastering MC4 connectors and overcurrent protection. 5. Battery safety, handling energy storage safely. 6. Inverters, bridging the gap safely. 7. Working at heights safety above ground. 8. Grounding and wiring, the foundation of a safe system. 9. General safety and emergency procedures, staying prepared. Let's dive in. The Silent Killer Understanding the dangers of electricity Electricity is a powerful force. It powers our homes and our lives, but it is also dangerous. Electricity can kill. It's important to understand the risks before working on any solar power system. Electricity is invisible. We can't see it, smell it, or hear it. This makes it even more dangerous. We may not know it's there until it's too late. Electrical shock can cause serious injuries, including burns, heart problems, and even death. Always assume that electrical wires are live. Never touch them without taking proper precautions. Even small amounts of electricity can be dangerous. The human body is a good conductor of electricity, which means that electricity can easily flow through it. Always treat electricity with respect. Your life may depend on it. High voltage, high stakes, panel voltage, and its risks. Solar panels generate direct current or DC electricity. When panels are connected in series, their voltage adds up. This can result in high voltages, often exceeding 500 volts. These high voltages are extremely dangerous. High voltage increases the risk of electrical shock. It can also cause arcing, which is a sudden flow of electricity through the air. Arcing can generate intense heat and light. It can ignite fires and cause serious burns. Always assume that solar panels are energized during daylight hours, even on cloudy days. Even when disconnected from a load, panels still produce voltage. Never touch exposed wiring or terminals of solar panels. To work safely with solar panels, you must disconnect them from any source of power. This includes disconnecting them from other panels, the inverter, and any batteries. Use appropriate personal protective equipment, such as insulated gloves and tools, when working with solar panels. PV Disconnects, your first line of defense. PV Disconnects are safety devices that allow you to quickly and safely disconnect your solar panel system from the rest of your electrical system. They act as the main power switch for your solar panels. PV Disconnects come in various sizes and types. They are designed to handle the specific voltage and current of your solar panel system. Always use disconnects that are rated for your system specifications. Installing a PV Disconnect is crucial for several reasons. First, it allows firefighters to safely de-energize your system in an emergency. Second, it enables you to work on your system without the risk of electrocution. Always turn off the PV disconnect before working on your solar panel system. This will isolate the panels and prevent them from producing power. Verify that the system is de-energized using a voltmeter before touching any wires or components. Mastering MC4 Connectors and Overcurrent Protection MC4 connectors are specialized connectors used to connect solar panels and other components in a solar power system. They are designed for safe and reliable connections in outdoor environments. These connectors are weather-resistant and designed to prevent accidental disconnections. MC4 connectors are polarized, meaning they can only be connected in one way. This helps prevent reverse polarity, which can damage your solar panels and other equipment. Always double-check the polarity of MC4 connectors before making any connections. Overcurrent protection devices, such as fuses and circuit breakers, are essential for protecting your solar power system from damage caused by excessive current flow. They work by interrupting the flow of electricity if the current exceeds a safe level. Overcurrent devices should be sized appropriately for your solar power system. Using the wrong size fuse or breaker can lead to fires or damage to your equipment. Consult a qualified electrician to ensure your system has the correct overcurrent protection. Battery safety, handling energy storage safely. Batteries are an essential part of many solar power systems. They store excess energy generated by the solar panels for use when the sun is not shining. However, batteries can be dangerous if not handled properly. Batteries contain hazardous materials such as sulfuric acid and lead. These materials can cause burns, respiratory problems, and other health issues if they come into contact with your skin or eyes. 
When working with batteries, always wear appropriate personal protective equipment, including gloves, eye protection, and a respirator if necessary. Work in a well-ventilated area to avoid inhaling any fumes. Never work on a battery bank alone. Have someone nearby who can assist in case of an emergency. Keep a safe distance from batteries while they are charging or discharging as they can release flammable gases. Inverters, bridging the gaps safely. Inverters are an essential component of most solar power systems, converting the direct current electricity generated by solar panels into alternating current electricity used by most household appliances. Inverters contain high voltage components and can pose a risk of electrical shock if not handled properly. Always disconnect the inverter from all power sources before working on it or any part of the solar power system. Before touching any part of the inverter or wiring, use a voltmeter to ensure that all power is disconnected. Never open the inverter casing unless you are a qualified electrician. When installing an inverter, ensure it is properly grounded to prevent electrical shock. Follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully and use appropriate wiring and overcurrent protection. Working at heights safety above ground. Installing solar panels often involves working on rooftops, which, you know, can be quite dangerous. Falls from heights are a leading cause of workplace injuries and fatalities. So, before working on a roof, always wear a safety harness and secure it to a sturdy anchor point. Use a safety line and make sure it is always connected to the anchor point. Inspect the roof carefully before working on it. Look for any signs of damage or weakness. Also, avoid working on wet or slippery roofs. Have a plan in place in case of an emergency. Know the location of the nearest ladder and how to use it safely. And of course, have a way to contact emergency services if needed. Grounding and wiring. The foundation of a safe system. Proper grounding and wiring are essential for a safe and functional solar power system. Grounding protects people and equipment from electrical shock by providing a path for fault currents to flow safely to the ground. All metal components of the solar power system, including the panels, mounting racks, and wiring, must be properly grounded. Use grounding conductors and connect them to grounding rods or other approved grounding points. Wiring should be done in accordance with local electrical codes and the manufacturer's instructions. Use the correct wire size and type for the current and voltage of the system. Ensure all connections are tight and secure. Never work on electrical wiring without first disconnecting the power source. Use a voltmeter to verify that the circuit is de-energized before touching any wires. General safety and emergency procedures. Staying prepared. Working with electricity always carries risks. By following basic safety precautions, you can minimize these risks and work safely. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment, including insulated gloves, eye protection, and closed-toe shoes when working on a solar power system. Use insulated tools to prevent electrical shock. Never work on a wet roof or in wet conditions. Keep a fire extinguisher nearby and know how to use it. In case of an electrical shock, immediately disconnect the power source and seek medical attention. If someone is not breathing, perform CPR and call emergency services immediately. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay connected.